Hi, I'm Vaughan from Honeywell. I'm uh, going to show you how to fit this Lyric T6 thermostat to this customer's boiler here. Okay, so here we have the Lyric T6 smart thermostat. Um, this is the wired version. So we'll uh, open up and have a look to see what we get in the box. Um, it's uh, comprehensive, nice, well packed, so it shouldn't arrive damaged. So, first bit we have is the actual thermostat itself, which mounts on the wall. You can have a look at the features of that in a minute. And we'll pack it with uh, all the important screws in the bottom there. And then next part here we have a set of instructions, two sets of instructions, one for the homeowner and obviously one for installation. Um, important little sticker on here, this is the um, code you need for the Apple HomeKit uh, to connect it to the Lyric. It is actually also on a label on the side of the device as well should it get lost. Then down to the next layer we have the relay box. So take out the box there. Again, a selection of screws, wire clamps, etc. So all important stuff, we'll put those aside. And take the protective film off here. So big change on the Lyric is the redesigned relay box. I'll just open it up and show you some of the changes that have been made. So the big change here you'll see is the um, wiring configuration. Starting from the right here, we have two connections here for open therm connection to open therm compatible boilers. Next two terminals here, um, they connect via a wire to the actual head of, it, head of the head itself. Next connections along are your switched uh, connections for the boiler firing, so be that um, low voltage or mains voltage. And then on the left here is obviously the uh, mains connection uh, input here. Nice feature that we've again taken feedback on is the flip up panel on the front here. So when you're mounted on the wall, you just flip the terminal up, like, strip up like this, nice and easy to feed the wires in. Get them in, tighten them up, and then just clip it back in place. So that's basically what you get in the box on the wired version. Okay, so first job we're gonna do is fit the relay box. So this is uh, where you've got your connections for your power, as I mentioned earlier on, connections to your boiler, and then two connections that go back to the thermostat on the wall for, this is for the wired version. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we've already mounted the, got two screw holes on the wall. So we'll just flip the cover up like so, and we will mount it with two appropriate size screws, obviously, fixing is appropriate to the surface that you're mounting it on. So we've got two cables here. This is the cable that is going back to the thermostat on, on the wall. So the, the two terminal connections on the back of the thermostat. So we will bring those in on this side here. This cable here, which this is a standard four core cable. So three, three, three core on earth, um, which will obviously be your live neutral an earth supply plus the extra cable for your, your switch, switch live supply. So this is a, uh, an older boiler, so we're just using standard 230 volt switched live. So we will again just put the cable in the cable clamp and screw it in place. We have the cables, we'll tidy these cables up afterwards, um, but we have two, two key cables in place. So obviously these, these all flip down like so, so we need to strip these back appropriate length um, and connect them up. Again, just important to point out that you connect these to the right connections. Little symbol on the top here, so it's the left two connections on this terminal bar at this end, uh, the other two being for the open therm connection to the boiler. If we were using an open therm boiler, again, it would be another two core cable running, connecting to the two ports here, which would then run to the appropriate uh, open therm connections on the boiler. So we've got the connections made there to, to the thermostat. We'll now make the mains power and switch live connections. There we go. It's nice having this little flip up terminal cover because you can actually see that you're putting the cables in actually into the clamp itself. Sometimes it's not always uh, that easy to do when it's pointing downwards and you're trying to look up. Can't quite see the hole. 
Now what we need to do is, because we're doing using 230 volt switch live, we need to do a little, make a little jumper to go across from this second live terminal here, across to terminal A here, to provide the 230 volts switching. So there we are. So that's it basically wired up. So again, just running through your, your earth park, your neutral, your live, jumper live across to port A for a 230 volt switching, and then you switch live output. So that's the relay box basically wired up. So all we'll do now is just uh, safely park the excess on the cables, clip the terminal strip back down, make sure the cables don't get trapped. Um, and that's basically the work done inside. Okay, so we've just, uh, just completed the wiring into the, the junction box here. So the connections for the permanent live, neutral and earth and then the switch live connection for the boiler. Here we've got a typical Y plan set up, um, and obviously a, a, an S plan would be similar, except you'd have the two zone valves. Um, that's for stored water, hot water system. If you've got a combi boiler, then the, the connections that we put in here would actually go straight into the terminal block on the boiler. Uh, obviously again, consulting manufacturer's instructions for the appropriate connections on the boiler. Okay, so we finished all the wiring down in the uh, boiler room. So now we're up to uh, connecting up the actual thermostat itself. So again, we're, we're back to the wired version. So what we've got here, we've got um, the two core cable that's coming from the relay box that we connected in earlier on. Obviously, if we're replacing an existing thermostat, um, this may be a, a two core cable, if it was perhaps a, an older digital thermostat or something or it may be a three core cable, so if, if it was um, an old a mechanical thermostat. Um, we only need two of the cables. Uh, you can reuse an existing cable that might be already be in place in the wall, um, but we only need two of the cables. Also, this is a low voltage connection, um, so there is um, no need for you know, uh, large, large core cables, etc. Um, so what we're going to do now, we've got the terminal block here, which we are now going to wire into. As pointed out earlier on, I think, uh, we've got four terminals here. We're using the top two terminals here, marked T and T. Again, polarity free, so it doesn't matter which, which ones we connect to which. So we'll just put the wall plate in place like so. Get the uh, two screws to screw it into place. Put the wires in place like so. And secure those, flip up the cover, click it into place, so that's now all safe. What we do now then is just take the thermostat head itself, engage the little tabs at the top, slide it down and click it into place. And there we are, that's the hardware installation done. Next step now is just to power up and uh, test that everything's working as it should be and then connecting the device to the Wi-Fi network and setting that up via the Lyric app on the customer's smartphone or, or a tablet device. Product's very easy to install, very straightforward. We have good, clear instructions, um, lots of alternative wiring diagrams, so really makes it straightforward for the installer. Uh, the nice little features with the flip-up terminal bar, for example, also uh, help make the wiring a lot simpler and quicker as well. It's very important, I think, for installers to uh, keep in touch with the connected products market. It's moving and developing very quickly. Consumers are becoming very aware of it and, and are asking for it directly. So, whereas in the past they would generally take um, whatever the installers would install. These days they're going to installers and saying, I would like this device because it does suits my lifestyle and provides the features that I'm looking for. For example, I've got an Amazon uh, Alexa device and I'd like to be able to control my heating through that and I've seen that the, the T6 will do that for me. So it's important to be on top of this technology and keep up with it so that you can offer a portfolio of products and services that your customer are really looking for.